you gorgeous creature and welcome back or welcome to Midsize Magpie, a channel that is all about midsize fashion, body positivity, and sustainable slash thrifted fashion. Um, today we are going to be doing a kind of a combo haul situation, first impressions. I was very kindly gifted some sustainable clothing from a small wonderful company in London called Maria and Matilda. I have their little card here. Very good. And they sent me over some clothes. They aren't clothes that I picked, so they're kind of like a mixed bag of like sizes and styles and stuff. So I figured I'd give them a go, obviously, try them on, see how we like them. And then I also ordered um, two pairs of shorts from eBay. This is the first time I've ever used eBay. We'll see how those go, and yeah, so that's kind of what we'll be looking at today. I'll do... What should I do first? Let's get the eBay shorts out of the way, because there's only two. So the trends that I was trying to find on eBay were kind of like the, the 90s, kind of cinched waist, wider leg, uh, pleats, and that type of, of vibe, and... I've never bid for anything on eBay. I don't know what I'm doing on eBay. My hay fever is off the wall today. So I apologize if I'm a bit red. Anyway, I got these shorts, which are very, like, I'm pretty sure my mom has these exact same shorts, but they're in kind of the, um, the seersucker type of pattern that is quite trendy at the moment and then they're also kind of the the old school type of shorts and they are from universal jeans wear Ooh, we see and they are in a size it is very worn out i believe they're in a size 18. we'll see how they look they might look too grandma but we can work with that we love a grandma moment hold tight Okay, so these are the kind of seersucker shorts, and I really like them. I think they like, they do up really nice. They like do a nice job of holding me in. There's like elastic on the side here, so it's very nice and comfy. They look very vintage. Well, you know. 90s, 80s, vintage. They're a super nice length to help with that chub rub, which is a plague on our community. Yeah, I am 100% here for the look, and I really like them. I hope you guys agree that I'm not just like losing my mind as I sit alone in my flat for four months. This is the first time with me trying them on, and because I've been holding off until I could film, so super pleased. It's a winner, baby. And I think I got them. I believe I pay like I bid four pounds for them, and then had to pay another like three ninety nine or four pounds for shipping. So eight quid for these. Pretty good. Pretty good. So for the next pair, I've got these Total Mom shorts from Lee. Um, authentic Lee clothing, as says the label. They are in a size 18. They have really nice like pleats in the front. Again, kind of like that long line leg. They do have a few little like stains on the um, the top bit, so they're obviously cheaper, but they're Lee, and I figured I'm kind of probably like wear a belt with them anyway, and you wouldn't be able to see those. So again, these were $3.99 or four pounds, and then paid three pounds for shipping, so seven, eight pounds for these as well. Obviously, it's like because it's eBay and not through Depop, you can't like share shipping or anything like that. So for both of these, it's like 16 pounds, which is like pretty good. Not as good as they would be at a charity shop, you know what I mean? But it's a good, it's a good option, it's a good option. So let's try these on. I think we've got another winner. So 
these are the white Lee shorts. I was a bit worried they would be too poofy. I think they look super cool. Like, again, really nice length. The people of the 80s, the women of the 80s and 90s, knew the business. They wanted to cover those, those thighs. I am absolutely 100% here for this look. Two super good vintage pairs of shorts for eight pounds each. That is amazing. I'm super pleased. I feel like a cool fashion inspo influencer. No, but it gives me those vibes and I can pretend. I can pretend. Do I look like I'm going to tennis? Ooh. I'm gonna wear these today. These are my, this is my outfit today. So that's eBay done. Next, we will move on to the sustainable fashion brand, um, sustainable British fashion. I'm really excited to try these. I follow them on Instagram and they have some really cute pieces. I'm excited to incorporate more true sustainable made fashion items into my wardrobe. Just as like a quick intermission request, you guys could subscribe I'm trying really hard to get up to a thousand followers on YouTube just because then I can start making money off of the videos as little as it is it's always really helpful moving to a new country trying to do this as much as possible it would be really really helpful so I would truly appreciate any support that you could give any shout outs comments likes Subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, of course, go follow me on Instagram, which is at midsize magpie. So yeah, that's just my little my little shout outs done. Back to the clothes. The first item that I received is a tank top or vest top in a size 16. It is the style Ashley and it was originally 18 pounds. And it's in this cream white color. Which is really pretty, it's really soft and smooth. This will be a really nice layering piece. Um, I was really glad to get some tank tops and stuff. I don't have a whole lot of cute, as I wear one now, but like, um, as far as like layering pieces go, I don't have a whole lot. I think I have one from Old Navy, which I've had for probably 15 years, which is fine, but you know, this is super pretty. We'll give this little try on. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's gonna be cute. Okay, so yeah. I wanted to show you this before I tucked it in because that's obviously generally how I would wear it. But as far as like length goes, it like goes pretty far down. The, the bottom, because it has the lace attached, it's quite snug on the bottom and like very fitted, but it's very stretchy and soft, so it's not like uncomfortable or anything. Um, obviously very see-through. You can see my bralette underneath, which is fine, to be honest. I think another really cute potential look would be like to wear it over a t-shirt or something like that. I really like that look. Um, the lace is really nice, really pretty, and um, yeah, just like a good, a good basic. And for 18 pounds for a sustainable fashion brand that is British as well, that's really good. I'm pleased with it. I think it looks really cute. Okay, so we'll get like the, actually, while I have this on, I also received this like almost long, it's a very long shirt, like not a shirt dress, but like a button up, button up, button up shirt. We'll just, yeah, button up shirt. Cine says 18. I don't think it, it doesn't come with a, a tag like the other ones did. So I'm not sure um, how much it is. I'll try and look on their website to see, to see the pricing of it. But it's kind of like, I think probably the way I would style it. I don't know. We'll see. It's generally not my immediate like vibe, but we'll see how we can style it up. And um, I think it'll be, it'll probably work better as like a cover. Or like a jacket type of look, so let's just throw it on. We'll so throw it yeah, on. as you can see, it is quite long. It goes down to here. I think button up wise, I could definitely button it. Probably wouldn't be long enough to be like a shirt dress, but maybe if you wore shorts, biker shorts or something underneath, it could be a look. It's kind of giving me high school art teacher vibes. 
which is, you know, which is a look and there's nothing wrong with that. It feels something more like my mom would really like, which is not a slam to the look of the outfit at all. It's just, I could see my mom wearing this. And to be honest, I might give it to her because she's a wonderful woman and deserves some luxury. So I could, I, I, might, I might gift her this um, as it has been gifted to me. Beach cover up, that type of vibe. This would be really great for. Yeah, again, this is an 18, so you can kind of get how it fits on me. If I was to button it up, I'll try and button it really quickly. We'll speed up this process. It might work as a dress. Uh, maybe not. Obviously, I'm wearing like my kind of poofy shorts underneath, so it's kind of flaring out in a funny way. It's very thin fabric. Almost feels like linen-y. But yeah, there's like plenty of room. If I even after I button it up, it's not pulling anywhere. Might go to Monica, dear, dear Monica. But yeah, I'm definitely not mad at it. I think it's nice. So we have two more tops. One of them is just like this really nice, cute, basic black tee. The material is quite thick. Definitely, oh my, what is happening? Definitely thicker than any of the other items. It is in the style Sarah. It is in a size eight like a wave of panic hit me. Um, it is also 18 pounds. It says it's in the color green. I'm questioning everything now. I'm pretty sure this is black. So maybe it's just the wrong tag. It's still a very nice black t-shirt. It doesn't look like a size eight. I don't, maybe it's meant to be very oversized, but um, I mean, as we'll see in a minute, I don't think it's gonna be a, a true size eight because so yeah, we'll chuck this guy on. So this is the black t-shirt. It's super comfy. Again, kind of a thicker material, but it's very soft. Almost feels like, like a light sweatshirt material almost. I don't know. I like where it goes to my arms. Like it's not super short sleeved. So if you like to have a bit more coverage on your arms, this is a really nice option. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a basic black tee. Definitely does not fit like an eight if it is in fact an eight, which I don't think it is. Um, it's very stretchy, very roomy, whatever size it is, it's very nice. I could probably size down if I wanted it to be a bit more snug, but like, I'm all about the comfort, so the looser the better, in my humble opinion. Yeah, look at it, this is cute. Super comfy. I can wear this to work, when I someday go back to work. I need more like professional outfits, which I don't have at the moment, so... I'm thankful. I'm thankful for this haul. So far everything, so far everything is fit. I just realized that. That's amazing. So yeah, uh, on to the final piece, which is, speaking of things for work, this very lovely, not sure how it's gonna look with my skin tone. It might make me look like I'm not wearing any clothes, you know that look? But it's like almost kind of this, not crop, but like a shorter, type of top. Um, it is in the style peel? P-E-A-L. Peel? Maybe it's pearl. Pearl? I'll, I'll go on the website and link everything down below. Um, but it's in a size 12 and it is in the color white. Again, not sure I'd classify this as white. Probably more of like a champagne. Got a little button in the back. It's very, very business. It is a business, like, it has that feel to it, so that's good. I need a lot more of that stuff in my wardrobe because I don't have any, and my future work attire needs to be business casual, and aside from t-shirts and jeans, I have nothing, so this is much needed. Hopefully it fits. It's good okay. to go. So, I like the idea of this top. It does not quite fit me. I think I said it was a size 12. Um, and it fits like a 12, I would say. The arms are very snug, so if you do decide to order from them, order your true size. I would not suggest ordering down in this one. Maybe a 14 could fit me, and I'm generally a 16, 18 at the moment. The length, it's really hard to tell if these jeans or these shorts because it's like, they kind of puff out, so it's kind of like a poof and a poof. If I was to wear these, Actual, they're this top. Actually, I'd probably wear like, probably like tighter jeans, just so it's a bit whatever. You do you wear however you want to wear it. 
but I think like the color is pretty. It's not too uh, samey as my skin tone. I think it'd be really nice on like deeper skin tones. I think it'd really pop and look really nice. Nice and obviously it's like nice and flowy. So as long as it fits your arms properly, I can see this being a really nice option. But unfortunately, it does not fit me. So that is everything that I have for you today. I'm really glad that I got to try some sustainable fashion brands. Um, I know I've done a lot of kind of thrifting secondhand type of videos on here, but I just haven't found, I mean, that's a lie. There's so many amazing sustainable fashion brands and like the prices of these are definitely on par with things that I've gotten on ASOS or um, other types of fast fashion sites like that. So it's definitely an option. I think there's kind of this idea that uh, sustainable brands are super expensive and completely out of um, some people's price ranges. And that's clearly not the case because these, you know, 18 pounds for a top, that's pretty standard, that's pretty good. So yeah, have a look. I'll link everything down below. But other than my interlude of giving my little my little channel a subscribe would be much appreciated. Go follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. And always remember that you are beautiful, powerful, brilliant, and brave. Is that cheesy? Should we do that? Is that like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I f feel like you should know it about yourself because you are, you are all those things. But like, is it cheesy for me to be like, remember you are. I don't know, you're beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're just like the most beautiful person I've ever seen. And you need to know that about yourself. You need to feel that because it makes life so much easier. Not that I've got it all figured out. By any, by any means. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Thanks guys. I hope you liked it. Give it a like, comment, let me know what your favorite pieces were. Um, if there are any other brands, sustainable or otherwise, that you would like me to try, let me know. Otherwise, I will catch you next week on my next video. So, thanks guys. See you later. Bye!